Now, just when you thought that compact crossovers were trampling each and every sedan in their sights, the mid-size sedan segment has come back with a bang. Almost each and every vehicle in this segment has either been upgraded or has been given a new successor. So if this festive season you are planning to invest in a proper 3-box sedan, then these are your likely options from the Japanese and the Korean shops. The Hyundai Vena, with its radical, fluidic design philosophy, looks a little too radical for my preference. But then, despite its age, it still looks up-to-date with the current times. It's also a very balanced, nice, sporty, low-slung design. The city, on the other hand, looks like a minor evolution of its predecessor. It has sharp lines and tends to look a little narrow and tiptoeing. The Sears, on the other hand, has a good mix of flowing lines, organic surfaces and even sharp edges and it also looks wider and longer than these two cars which makes it look overall a bigger or a size larger than the other two but as i always say though these three cars have their own design virtues design at the end of the day is a personal preference and speaking of personal preference i like the interiors of the shias the most it's a simple and easy to access layout the quality of plastics feels good and despite the part sharing with other maruti cars the cabin feels fresh and upmarket the city on the other hand has a cabin that feels too plasticky, but it looks more sci-fi with its feather touch controls and the 3D instrumentation. The Verna has a good looking cabin too and the fit and finish is top notch. While it packs in tons of creature comforts, it's the rear seat space where it loses out. The Shias and the city have ample space for the rear seat passengers and also pamper them with rear AC vents and other creature comforts. Seating comfort is better in the city, but the Shias too hardly leaves any room for complaint. Shia's diesel is powered by the country's favourite multi-jet diesel engine, the 1.3-litre unit. Now, out of the three engines, this has the least power. It has the same torque as the Honda City. But it also feels very linear. Whenever the turbo kicks in, you don't feel that sudden surge of torque or the turbo. And that's a good thing when you're driving around in city. Even the gearbox has been tuned pretty well. And I don't know how Suzuki always manages to tune this engine better than its parents, Fiat. But it's really worked well even in the Shias. If you're upgrading from, say, a Swift or even the Swift Desire, you will feel at home with the Shias diesel. And like I said, out in the city, it's a very good engine. It's very nicely tuned. The driver's seat also gets height adjustment, so you can find a good seating position. However, for a good driving position, I would have liked if the steering was also adjustable for reach. It is only adjustable for rake angle, it's the same for the other two cars as well. The Shias being the newest kit on the block, I really hope that at least this one would introduce a telescopic steering wheel with a proper adjustment feature to it. But unfortunately, it is not. It's essentially the same steering wheel but the electronic motor is slightly different and therefore the tuning is different too. So if you're driving around in city traffic for quite long, it can get a little cumbersome. Out on the highway though, you will enjoy how well weighted the steering wheel is. Now Honda's engines are always known to be rev happy and somehow they have got that phenomenon even with the new diesel engine. This engine just loves to race to the red line. It doesn't feel like a turbo diesel. You don't feel a sudden surge of torque anywhere either. And also, this engine feels a little more eager than the 1.3 multi-jet in the Shias. Now, this certainly isn't the most powerful engine of the lot, but it has a decent amount of torque, 200 Newton meters of it, and also is one of the most fuel-efficient engines in this category. Out of the three cars that we've tested here, I think the city has the best setup when it comes to the steering. Now, the balance is quite good. It's not too light nor too heavy. It's very convenient for city use, even in tight parking spaces. Out on the highway, the weight is quite decent. But if you want something that is slightly more sportier, then you will need something like a Vento or a Linea. That's something that I keep saying every now and then. 
but these three cars they are aimed at being good commuters and the city really fares very well in this regard now diesel engines are also known to be noisy and the id tech milan particular has always been highlighted as a noisy operator however here in the city the noise insulation is quite good it's not as pronounced as something that you would find in the amaze or the mobilio even this one is quite silent but if it's a silent cabin that you're looking at the verna would be a better choice the overall noise insulation the road noise insulation engine noise insulation is much better in the verna than the city or the chiaz out of the three cars that we are testing here the verna has the most powerful engine it's a 1.6 liter crdi unit and compared to the honda city or the chiaz this one feels a lot more eager it just wants to build all that power and build up speed very quickly it feels very athletic as compared to the other two vehicles but the steering setup or the suspension setup despite all the upgrades that the verna got still doesn't feel as athletic again you will have to look at something like the vento or the linea if you want a sporty car but as far as ride quality is concerned hyundai has always been right there at the top and with the verna it still remains the same if you are looking for a vehicle that is a good commuter has a good ride quality has a comfortable ride quality then verna it is the cabin also is quite silent the only thing going against the vehicle is that it is a little old now the styling for the interiors that has started looking a little outdated as compared to the chiaz or the honda city but in terms of features it is still right up there in terms of ride quality like i said still right up there now right at the beginning of this video i mentioned that each and every car in the mid size sedan segment has either got an upgrade or a successor which means that this segment is still very important now that verna is the oldest car of the lot but with the kind of package that it is and the features and the facelift that it has got it still manages to put up a very strong fight the honda city on the other hand that's the undisputed king of this segment more so now with a diesel engine so dethroning it is going to be very difficult not just for these two cars but for each and every other car that it has at its competition maruti suzuki with the sx4 and the balen of course couldn't really make a dent in this segment but with the chiaz with the kind of package that it is it seems that finally they have a very strong contender to the throne